Zorse unlocks BMW key cloning for G and U series. The Game Changer update explained. Hey everyone, this is Hussein, and welcome back to Bob G Motors, your trusted pit stop for all things automobile diagnostics, key programming, and cutting edge tool updates. Before we roll into the details, here's a quick but important note. This video is strictly for educational and informational purposes only. Everything shown here is meant to guide and inform technicians, learners, and enthusiasts. We respect all trademarks and follow fair use guidelines. So always adhere to manufacturer procedures and local laws when working with vehicles. Now let's get into the exciting part. Zorse has just dropped a massive firmware upgrade, one that's going to make every BMW technician smile. The update brings key cloning support for BMW's G and U chassis vehicles equipped with BDC03 and BCP systems. This might sound technical, but in simple terms, it means that Zorse has opened the doors to clone keys for newer BMWs faster, easier, and more efficiently than ever before. But here's the big question for today. With this new BDC3 and BCP support, is Zorse finally making BMW key cloning effortless for everyone? Or are there still a few hidden challenges to look out for? Stick around till the end, because I'll share my thoughts on that, along with a powerful tip that every technician should know before using this feature. All right, let's break it down step by step. License and activation. The first thing to know is no more complicated activations or extra hardware. The BDC3 key cloning feature comes automatically unlocked for anyone who already has an active BMW G BDC2 license. That's right, no new adapters, no hidden fees no headaches. If you don't have that license yet, all you need to do is activate a new BMW G license, which instantly enables both BDC2 and BDC3 functions together. It's like getting a two-for-one deal on powerful diagnostic capabilities. Key compatibility. Let's talk about what keys you can actually use. Zor supports two main key types, VVDI dedicated keys, which are coming soon, and original OEM keys. The best part? The cloning process uses Zorse free calculation service, meaning you won't lose any bonus points or tokens during the operation. That's a small but significant win for frequent users. However, there's an important restriction to keep in mind. Only original keys marked Hungary are eligible for cloning. If your key says Mexico, it's a no-go. Those keys are permanently locked and can't be processed. It's critical to check this before attempting any cloning to save time and frustration. Supported hardware and workflow. Now, what tools do you need? Zorse has ensured compatibility across multiple devices. The VVDI Key Tool Plus Pad is fully ready to handle the BDC3 cloning process right out of the box. If you're using a VVDI 2 or a Key Tool MIDI, you'll just need an external key data reading tool, like VVDI Prog or Multiprog, to extract the BDC3 key data before completing the process. Here's how it works. You first extract the original key data using VVDI prog or multiprog, and then load that data into VVDI2, Key Tool Plus, or Key Tool MIDI. Once that's done, the tool takes care of the key programming automatically. Detailed pinout diagrams for the BMW BDC3 key are already available inside the software. So even if you're not sure where to start, Zorse has your back. Current development status. Right now, the Key Tool Plus has its BDC3 functionality fully operational. You can start using it immediately. Meanwhile, both the VVDI prog and multiprog versions are still in the testing phase. To experiment with them, use function 19 in VVDI prog or 199 in multiprog. It's clear that Zorse is still refining these tools, but the early results are already impressive. License verification. Wondering if your device is ready? Here's how you check. On VVDI 2, an authorization prompt will appear automatically when you try accessing the BDC2 or BDC3 functions. On Key Tool Plus or Key Tool MIDI, just open the authorization list. You'll see it right there. If you already have BDC2 authorization, you're good to go. It automatically covers the new BDC3 functionality too, which is a neat bonus. BMW G and U Series model support. Now let's talk about the support of vehicles. The BMW G chassis BDC03 systems cover a wide range of models from 2020 to 2024, including the 2 Series, G42 and G87, 3 Series, G20, G21, G28, G81, G80, 4 Series, G22 through G83, 5 Series, G30 to G60, and even the 6, 7, and 8 Series. 
And yes, Zorst didn't forget the SUVs. X3, X4, X5, X6, X7, and even the Z4 Roadster are all on the supported list. As for the U chassis lineup, which uses the BCP system, you're looking at newer models like the 1 Series, 120, 2 Series U06, and compact SUVs like the X1, U11-U12, and X2, U10, all from 2021 to 2024. In simple terms, whether it's a luxury sedan, a sporty coupe, or a family SUV, this update ensures you can now clone keys across nearly the entire modern BMW lineup. So what does this mean for professional locksmiths and programmers? It means faster service, wider compatibility, and fewer limitations. No longer do you need to worry about additional activations or buying multiple licenses. Everything is now unified under one smart, streamlined system. This kind of update shows how Zorce continues to listen to its users, making advanced programming simpler and more accessible to both experts and newcomers in the automotive field. So, back to our opening question. Does this new feature finally make BMW key cloning effortless? In my opinion, yes, it's a major leap forward. Zorce has managed to simplify a process that used to be complicated and time-consuming. The only remaining challenge is for users to stay informed about key restrictions and hardware compatibility. But even that is improving with every update. Now I'd love to hear your take. Do you think Zorce will dominate the BMW key programming scene after this update? Drop your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. And here's a fun fact before you go. Did you know that BMW's BDC, Body Domain Controller, doesn't just handle key communication, it also manages more than 20 vehicle systems, from lighting to comfort access? That's what makes cloning such a sophisticated task. If you enjoyed this breakdown, help us reach our challenge, 10,000 likes and 1,000 comments. Your engagement keeps Bob G Motors growing and helps us stay on top of the YouTube leaderboard. Don't forget to hype this video and hit that subscribe button for more deep dives into automotive technology. Thanks for watching till the end. And as always, keep learning, keep exploring, and happy diagnosing.